Holdsworth of Ample Hunting. Me and my son Vance in the blind with me. Andrew kick-started our red stag hunting season in style, taking this beautiful stag at what was just over 25 yards. Thanks PJ, it went really well. Yeah, that was hard to keep things under control with the nerves, you know. Having them just parade by like that, the big ones when they first came through. I thought we were done when they first went through. Just wait. That's a young one, that one. First group went through and I thought, oh man, that was our chance for tonight, you know. Then step up young Vance, Andrew's son taking his first game animal, a cull fellow buck. And Vance made no mistake at just over 200 yards. The duo completed their hunt by taking this beautiful, light coloured fellow deer. This was a buck that we'd seen earlier and Andrew really wanted him. It took us a while to actually find him, but we got it done in the end. Congratulations guys, we hope to see you again. Got the most amazing skin, beautiful spots. He's got 20 something points, character to burn, and I think Drew's happy. I'm super happy with him, thank you so much. Welcome Gaia, aka Dr. Hook, and Ormoff, aka the Eagle, all the way from Norway. They came down to have a crack at a red stag and to do a little bit of fly fishing. Here are the highlights of their hunts. We've seen the stag. He's now on the other side of the ridge. I've actually doubled right back around. This stag's really old. Uh, I tried to get him last year, we didn't. Gaia really likes the look of the stag. This is what we call a non-typical. So it's pretty cool to um, to get the a European onto a stag of such. So another half a mile. It's all downhill from here, and yeah, we'll be into it. Boom, right in the base of the neck. What a shot, Dr. Hook. Man, what a gnarly stag. I think this must be the hook. This must be the Dr. Hook hook. And this stag was at least 12 years of age. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is the best.
We set out early in the morning. Stags were heading to cover. We hoped to nab a stag coming back from the next valley before he reached his sanctuary. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh. Yeah, I'm the happiest man in the world. At least the happiest man from Sørøyal in North Norway. I can tell. For sure. <laughs> 13 years ago when we started ample hunting, we asked around for some advice. One of the tips that we got was from Mr. Frank Murphy, who had been running a very successful fishing lodge just up the road. Frank said to me this, BJ, you must have repeat clientele. Without that, you don't have a business. I've never forgotten those words. I asked him to elaborate at the time, and he told me this. He said, it's simple. He said, you must make sure that they have a good time. You must make sure that when they go back to whatever country they're from, they're so satisfied that they either come back or they tell their friends to book a hunt with you. He said, that will be a catalyst to your business's success. He's right, and it'll also save you a fortune in advertising. Doug was a repeat offender. Doug and his buddy John had hunted with us six years ago. Doug was one of the good guys. We were excited to have Doug back. This time round, Doug was going to be a little bit earlier in the season. Now, six years ago, we filmed this hunt. Here are some segments from that adventure. Jesus, oh, yeah. smoked him. Doug was pretty happy. It was a good start to his hunt, and well, what a pretty stag. Over 20 points, nice and even, and plenty of mass. If there was a trophy earned this season, it was Doug and his fellow buck. We'd hunted two and a half days before Doug was finally successful in taking his fellow deer. The first hunt, we had a few problems. We ran out of light, and things just didn't happen. The second hunt we found a buck, we stalked in on him, by the time we got into position he'd completely vanished. We spent another afternoon just looking and enjoying the scenery. Sometimes watching deer from a good vantage point pays off. The third hunt was a little bit better. We found a deer from long distance, we put quite a big stalk in, we got into about 180, 190 yards from him, and unfortunately for us, before Tim could even get camera one zoomed in on the animal, Doug let the shot go. Well, the shot went south, the deer headed north into the bush, never to be seen again, and that was that. Like all good hunters, Doug took this miss on the chin, and he was as keen as mustard to have another crack early the next morning. Well, a buck disappeared into the bush, and you know, we looked up in dismay, and there was another buck, the biggest buck we had seen to date, standing there 200 metres away. Well done. Doug swung the rifle 30 degrees, lined up the shoulder, and let him have it. Nicely done. <laughs> now Doug had missed a lesser buck. He let another younger buck walk. It's almost like he was holding out for the one up on the hill. That was the plan all the time. Nice shot. Wow. So Doug's second time round, it couldn't just be another adventure. It had to be next level. Could we do it? The onus was on us. Now we had to lift our game. You be the judge, watch this and find out.
This was a good stag in full rut mode. He was around about 500 yards away. The plan was to wait for the morning winds to sort their direction out and then drop down and hope for a shot across the gully. Doug liked the traditional look of this stag, no question. When he dropped down a little bit lower, we decided to make our move. 500 yards had become a whole heap closer. Sweet. <laughs> That's incredible. Beautiful, beautiful stag. 19 points, nice and wide, good colour. He was out chasing the ladies and Doug made the perfect shot at 250 yards. Doug's also booked the fellow deer hunt, so I just said to him that we now can have a real concerted effort at finding the best buck on the whole property. So, we've got a bit of time. So, um, yeah. Second time round, does it get better? Keeps getting better. Because we were only practicing last time. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. All good. The afternoon was perfect for a hunt, not hot, not cold, and with a shore breeze, we had made a plan. So this morning we came out on the other side, we saw a bunch of does and a few smaller bucks. It wasn't until late in the session we actually saw a really nice big buck. So we let him go back to the timber, we went home, we had lunch, we'd come back out this afternoon and we're going to stake out the top of the bush. We're getting it nice and early, we're going to get set up, make sure we've got a good shooting platform. It might only be a 150 yard shot, but I want to be organised, I want to have Doug all ready. So when it comes down to the, to the shot, everything is going to be all nicely prepared. Finally, as evening wore on, we saw our first buck. It was all going to happen, and it was going to happen fast. Done it, dusted. We only waited four hours, but we got it done. That was a hell of a plan you had. Plan A worked for a change. <laughs> Here's your New Zealand moose. <laughs> moose it is. God, that is the most beautiful. Fruit. 
He has everything. Doug has shot an absolute monster. It's amazing. When it comes to New Zealand, shoot a moose. <laughs> <laughs> Magnificent animal. So we're going to get him skinned out. Yeah. Um, incredible. You've had a really good week. Oh, it's been awesome. Really awesome. Unreal.